All right, Jim, Smoky Lake Maple. Probably gonna get sick of me, folks. So it's, I just got home, it's like 10.45. Um, the boil went well. Now I'm around out in the woods, um, just checking my bags and I checked the lines already, that's all good. But I like to walk through the woods. I don't have time to collect tonight and actually the sap run wasn't that great. Um, there might have been, uh, Oh, maybe uh, an average of three quarters of a gallon of sap per tap today. Um, I'm not going to bother collecting, but I'm checking everything. So here, this looks like a bag that had a hole in it, right? Because there's no sap in it. And I see little sapsicles uh, dripping off the corner. So you need to look closer, folks. Don't call that a leaky bag just because you see icicles there. There's a, a plethora of other things that can go wrong. So don't look for squirrel, bar squirrel bites right away look a little bit further. If the sap were running right now, you would see the sap uh, actually running along the side of the tap and dripping behind the bag. It's evident on this one as it starts to freeze. So you can see that trail of sap starting near the tap hole. It's not a leaky tap hole. Don't be confused there. What was happening is the sap was actually running on the outside. This is a tap that is slightly back pitched and that is causing the sap to run along and down. In fact, you can actually see where it had been dripping, down off the ring behind the bag holder running down. It's also evident on the back of this bag holder, you can see this stream, it's partially frozen where it ran along and down the back side of the bag. So that's something we see a lot. So when you have a, a tap that's back pitched, that's what's gonna happen. Let me just show you what I'm doing here. And I'm one-handed, one-handed, because I'm holding the camera and I'm alone. This is a zip tie that I'm gonna put around the tap. This is gonna be the new drip ledge for that tap. It will not be able to follow that tap back now. Yeah, you can call it cobbly, but you know what? We're expecting another run or two this season. Let's make the most of this without putting another wound in the tree. That problem is fixed. So look a little bit closer when you see something that looks like a leaky bag, look closer. Uh, I would say that at least 75% of the time it is something else. So this is what it boils down to. Jim Schumacher, Smoky Lake Maple. Have a good night.